I didn't show the shoes to Carlo in the beginning on purpose. I want that natural surprise. Guys, Tito tayo eh. So, Lacos. The ultimate Tito shoe. What's up? How's it going? Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Welcome. This is Sean. I do sneakers. I do travel and everything in between. So you guys might remember that clip I played in the beginning. It was a... Uh, so that was taken from the uh, the collaboration video I made with Carlo Ople. It was filmed at his place. Man, I love that episode. I had fun doing that. Anyway, that episode was about three of the most memorable sneakers in our collection and one of the sneakers that I featured were these ones <laughs> and it's a it's a 2007 Lacoste sneaker I don't even know what it's called do they even have names for their sneakers his immediate reaction was that of surprise you know and I kind of expected that um, he called the shoe a Tito shoe a shoe that your uncle would wear a shoe that your dad would wear it's an old guy sneaker, and uh, whether we like it or not, that's the situation here. And uh, I kind of want to talk to you about Lacoste and their current status and where they are now and where they were before. I want to have a conversation about these sneakers, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's such a Tito sneaker, and, and today I was at the mall. I, I walked by a Lacoste store. I was taken back to 2007. That era, 2005, 2006, 2007. These sneakers, and anything and everything Lacoste on your feet was so difficult to acquire. I remember the lines outside the stores. They would set up these velvet ropes. Um, sometimes you had to get a number before you could enter the store. Uh, and it was crazier during sales. Uh, the lines could get long and you'd, you'd block the way. Right, so they were super hot in the mid 2000s, and at the time, it was some sort of a status symbol. You know what I mean? If you're a, if you're an up and coming supervisor or a manager, and you wanted to make a statement, you wanted to tell people, "Hey, I've arrived. The sneakers to buy were a pair of Lacostes." Right, so. Whether we like it or not, that was the situation back then. And uh, 2007, so these came out in 2007, right? That was also the lead up to our wedding. We got married in 2008. Me and my wife, Lara, were preparing for our prenup pictorial. And uh, I had my outfit all figured out. You know, I wanted to wear a button down long sleeve shirt, untucked, of course, a pair of semi fitting jeans, and of course, Lacoste sneakers so I could look like Edu Manzano. Um, I didn't think I uh, <laughs> I achieved that, but uh, the overall look was all right. My wife Lara also got a pair of Lacostes. These sneakers, man, they're still alive. Both uh, both sneakers came out in 2007. Look at that, the prenup pictorial pairs. Man, that was a memory trip that felt good. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I was at the mall today, I walked by a Lacoste store, I was drawn in. I was drawn in out of curiosity. Where are they today? What is the status? From uh, the glory days of the mid-2000s, nobody seems to be talking about Lacoste anymore. And I think I'm pretty... I'm, I'm tuned in in the sneaker scene. I, I kind of know what's going on. Uh, I have a conscious effort to find out uh, the latest, hottest sneakers, what classics are being retro. You know what I mean. And I don't, I don't ever hear about Lacoste anymore. Lacoste sneakers are obviously still around. And based on my trip today to the Lacoste store, they still make great sneakers, believe me. But um, whether we admit it or not, the, the status, the clamor for Lacoste has faded, you know, and uh, that's largely because, I think it's largely because of the variety we have today, right? For that price point, 4500 up, there's just so many sneakers to choose from, and most major brands have a luxury lifestyle line that you can choose from, and uh, some of them are just so much better and nicer looking and some are cheaper and some perform better. That's just the truth. 
Before we go any further, and in case you're wondering why the difference in background, we're still at home, we're just in a different location. The usual spot is not conducive for filming because the sun would be directly out my window at this time, and the glare would be so violent it will mess up the frame. And besides, I've filmed here so many times. Okay, so hey, let's get to the sneakers. Right here, right now, I take you to the Lacoste store. Let me know what you think. We got a good one right here for 5,650 pesos. They're not cheap, but it looks good. Tumbled leather, suede eye stay, suede heel tab. Luxury, man. Another beauty here, 5,250 pesos, red sneaker, look at that, canvas upper, suede bumper, suede eye stay, suede heel counter, you got a leather heel tab, ortholite insoles, gum bottoms, it's a nice sneaker. Over here you have your black and white sneaker, black upper, white bottoms, look, 5,650, smooth leather, perforated logo. Not my cup of tea, but they're not bad looking. Here's a sneaker that I would actually wear, 5,250. I like black and white. I like the I like the panda vibe, the stormtrooper vibe. We got a good one here. Right here is one of my favorites in the store. It's an L1212. Yep, you saw that right, an L1212. It's the Lacoste polo shirt, and they turned it into a shoe, right? Um, this is an L1212. Got a bunch of these. Um, I love the look. I love that classic Tito look, and when I feel like a Tito on certain days, I put this on. Here we go. The fit is not very satisfactory, but it works. We're gonna go with it. Next sneaker, 6,250. One of the ugliest sneakers I've ever seen in my life. You got the debossed side panels and they're ugly. Now what we have here is one of the sportier looking sneakers. It's a, it's a lightweight um, performance feel sneaker, 5,650. And finally, for 4,250, we have a white canvas sneaker with green accents and the logo by the lateral panel with a green heel tab. Very clean look, very classy. Okay, we now leave the store. Those are the sneakers, at least the sneakers that caught my attention for one reason or another. What do you think of Lacoste, man? What do you think of Lacoste? Are they still hot in your book? Are you gonna buy Lacoste? Uh, do you still buy Lacoste? Have you been to a store lately? I really wanna know. Let me know in the comments. Hit me up, let's have a conversation. Um, I wanna leave you with a question, all right? Because, uh, and, and this question I think is a good gauge as to whether um, Lacoste is still valuable to you, I guess. 
So for 5,000 or 6,000 pesos, would you get one Lacoste sneaker or two Chuck Taylors that are on sale or two Vans sneakers that are on sale, right? I know my answer. I'm going to go with the Chucks or the Vans. I, the, even, just the thought gets me excited. I'm going to get a white, uh, as far as the Chucks go, I'm going to get a white pair and a black pair, right? As far as Vans go, I'm going to get a red skate high and a navy skate high. I'd get two cheap classic sneakers over a Lacoste, but that's just me. What's your pick, right? And that's all the time we have for this episode. Before we go, I'd like to remind you that your value as a person is not measured by what's on your feet. Be kind, that's more important than sneakers. I'll see you next time. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna sneeze and sneeze after this video. I'm gonna sneeze nonstop, I just know it. The shirt smells like a hundred years old. There's dust and cobwebs. There's probably spiders in here somewhere. They've been in my closet for years and now I'm wearing it for the sake of the video. That's how much I love you guys.